sweetest girl around it's Heidi. High up in the silver alps, her grandpa and her dog right by her side. Heidi, you let the sun shine. Heidi, you make me feel fine. Heidi, you always get it right. You always get it right. You always get it right. The school teacher and his son Carl had to leave the village. Of the week. To celebrate their friendship with Carl, the children organized a scavenger hunt. Get my fossil collection. Get set and go. Teresa cheated to find the fossils first, but she failed. You got the treasure. Heidi understood that Teresa wanted the collection as she had feelings for Carl. Make sure he knows before he leaves. Wait, Teresa. <laughs> oh. You're my best friend too, Teresa. Stop it, Goldfinch. We'll go as soon as everyone's here. <laughs> Good morning, Peter. Good morning, Heidi. You're the first this morning. We have to wait for the others. It's going to be such a marvellous day in the meadow. Don't you remember I'm not coming today? Huh? No, I didn't. Clara arrives today. Oh. <laughs> She's staying all summer. But isn't this the Clara who can't walk? Of course it's her. <laughs> How many Claras do you think I know? And you will take her to the cabin. It will be hard for her up there with her wheelchair and all. No, she'll be fine. And anyway, I'm sure she'll walk again soon, so that won't be a problem anymore, will it? Hmm. If you say so. <laughs> I'd better go now. There is still so much to prepare before Clara arrives. I'll see you later. <laughs> Here they come. Just wait until the train stops. Miss. Thank you so much, sir. I wish you a very nice time in Durfley, miss. Thank you, sir. Clara! Heidi! <laughs> Heidi! Oh, Clara, I'm so happy you're here. Me too, Heidi. Oh, I missed you so much. Welcome to Durfley. So beautiful. Here is Chippy. <laughs> good morning, Adelaide. Good morning, Miss. Very good, Adelaide. I can see you haven't forgotten the good manners you learned in Frankfurt. Good morning. Grandfather, this is Clara and Miss Rottenmeier, her governess. Clara, Miss Rottenfire, welcome to Durfrey. Oh. <laughs> it's Miss Rottenmeier. Um, sorry, <laughs> Miss Rottenmeier. We should go now, Adelaide. Clara needs some rest. Of course, Miss. But I'm not tired, Miss. And I already had a nap on the train. Attention, please. The train for Durfley is ready to go. <laughs> choo choo. <laughs> Miss Rottenmeier, hmm? I'll take care of your luggage. Thank you. Please do. Joseph, no! Stop that! Down! First stop... Grandfather's Manor. It's so huge! 
This is a nice house you have here, sir. Mm. This is where we will stay tonight, before we move back to the cabin tomorrow. <gasps> a cabin? Yes, up there, in the mountain. We're going for a picnic there today so you can see it. Oh, in the mountains? Oh, I don't think it's appropriate for Clara. You see, it's simple but comfortable. Let me just leave your luggage. Heidi and I prepared a picnic. But Clara really needs a rest. Mm. It's important for her. Her father wouldn't like... She can the... rest at the cabin. Oh. Winter is a lousy housekeeper. <laughs> this is so cute. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> when we're not here, nature reclaims its territory. Nothing a good spring cleaning can't fix. I'm not sure, sir. Considering that, I think it'd be best if Clara and I stay in the village. <gasps> hmm? Oh, no. Let's have some food and talk about it, shall we? I don't think there's anything to talk about, sir. I'm responsible for Clara's health, and I don't think this environment suits her. <sighs> you just had an exhausting journey, Miss Rottenmeyer. Don't you want to at least enjoy some lunch before you return? I'm sure that Clara is hungry by now. Mm. Yes, I am, sir. All right, but we go back to the village after lunch. <laughs> this is for you, Clara, some pretty mountain flowers. Can I show Clara around? Please, miss. Don't go too far and be very careful. Yes, miss, of course. <laughs> Clara is such a nice little girl. She seems so happy to be up here. Uh, I guess I can try to see how comfortable your cabin can look after some cleaning. Do you have a broom? Sure. I wish we could stay here all summer. This is so beautiful, Heidi. It is, isn't it? We can't stay in the village all that time. There are too many things I need to show you up here. I hope Miss Rottenmeyer will change her mind. Oh, maybe we could help her do that. How? There should be a way. Hmm? <gasps> Look! Peter is coming back! Let's go! Peter! Peter! <laughs> Peter, this is Clara. Clara, this is Peter, our goat general. Good afternoon, Peter. Afternoon? What are you doing up here? We came for a picnic to show the cabin to Clara. Hmm. Well, I better go. Come on, girls. Time to go. Huh? Little bear? Where is she? Achoo! Bless you. Oh, thank you. Achoo! Oh, what's that? <laughs> oh, a goat! Oh, oh, oh. Little bear, move away. Oh. Oh. Little bear! Peter, take the goats away. Miss Rottenmeyer doesn't like them. Huh? Hurry up! Ouch. Goats in the house. This is not suitable. Clara and I will have to stay in the village. The goats usually don't come in the cabin, miss. 
You'll be safe. Would I? I can assure you. I simply cannot risk it, sir, for Clara's sake. But, me. Clara, there's nothing to discuss. I assume there's a grocery store in the village. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll need some supplies for dinner. Clara cannot just eat dried meat and cheese all day. Mr. Sessiman would never agree to such a diet for his daughter. Go with her, Heidi. I'll get Little Bear and lock the cabin. I'll be right behind you with Clara. Good afternoon, Mrs. Keller. This is Miss Rottenmeier. She's visiting from Frankfurt. Oh, Frankfurt. What an honour to have you in our little village. Thank you. I will need some dried beans, a dozen eggs and flour. I am sorry, but I'm out of eggs for the day. If you'd have come earlier in the day, I would have had some for you. Oh, look, I had to endure the train and a trip to your remote meadows in this today. I'd appreciate it if you could keep your remarks to yourself. You really took this lady to the meadows in that attire? Ha! Huh, to put such nice clothes through that. They're from Frankfurt, aren't they? Hmm. They're really beautiful. I wish I could find that kind of garment here in Durfley. Or even Meinfeld. We're so far from everything. It's hard to get things from the city. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think Durfley was this remote. I had quite a shock this morning. I know. We don't even have a teacher anymore. Oh, no teacher? This cannot be true. It is. I don't know how my little Teresa will get a proper education now. She'll never become a proper lady, like you. Hmm. That will be three francs, please. I'm sorry about the eggs. I might have some left upstairs in the house. I'll get Teresa to bring you some. No, oh, that's so kind of you. My pleasure. You have a good day, miss. You too. And thank you again. That woman was a bit rough around the edges, I tell you. For a moment, I thought the village would be as unwelcoming as your cabin up there. But at least we're protected from the goats. Mom. And this village seems pretty and quiet, so Clara should rest well here. Hmm. But miss... It's better for everyone if we stay down here all summer. Are you sure? Very sure. <sighs> oh, Heidi, this is not good. She'll never want to move to the cabin now. Hmm. Heidi. Hmm? Oh, Peter! Um, Heidi, I wonder. You're coming to the meadows tomorrow? I can't, Peter. I'm sorry. We're moving back to the cabin tomorrow. Well, that's the plan anyway. My governess, Miss Rottenmeier, she doesn't want to leave the village. Oh. What would you do? to make her dislike the village, so she'll agree to move to the cabin. Well, she didn't seem too keen on goats, did she? No, and she wants some peace and quiet too. Hmm. Hmm. I know, but we'll need Teresa and William to help too. Are you sure they'll help us? I think William can be convinced, but Teresa... Since Carla's left, she's been quite lonely. We've talked a few times and she's been quite nice. So? What's the plan? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to split into pairs, and each pair will do different things she doesn't like. That will make sure it's this one. little scoundrels. I'll find your parents and tell them about the ruckus you make. <laughs> Let's move to the next part of the plan. Mm. 
No! Didn't you hear the ruckus they're making outside? It's intolerable. I heard something. Must have been children in the street. Awfully loud. And this early. Oh. It's almost nine. I was actually coming to wake you up. Nine? Oh, Clara! Dear Lord, why didn't you wake me up at a proper hour? Don't you worry about her, miss. Oh? She's gone out with Heidi for a morning stroll in the village. What? And you let her? You're not in Frankfurt anymore. Durfley is perfectly safe. Oh, I'll go and find her. Clara? Adelaide? Clara? Adelaide? Clara? Where are you? <laughs> hey, you! Stop! Come back here! <laughs> Miss. What? Where is she, anyway? She's at the fountain near the church. She's having a bath. What? A bath? In a fountain? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Oh, just, if you see a goat, don't approach it, will you? What? A goat? Mm -hmm. When they're not in the meadow, the village goats wander in the street and eat what they want. Once... My mother got attacked. They can be feral. But if you don't go too close, you should be all right. You're making this up. Now, go back to your parents. Goats wandering in the <laughs> So? All good. Great. It's our turn. Don't scare her too much, all right? Of course not, Clara. We just want her to move back to the cabin, not to go back to Frankfurt. <laughs> Your governess is a bit scary. <laughs> Clara! Oh, those children tricked me. Adelaide! Clara! Oh, could you... <laughs> Oh. 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 There's someone around. Oh. 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 Miss. Oh. oh, you scared me. I just got attacked by goats. Goats? They're wandering in the village. Feral beasts. Mm. I cannot stay here another minute. Hello, miss. <gasps> there you are. Good morning, miss. I looked everywhere for you. We were just having a stroll. And you lent your wheelchair to children. They wanted to try it. We are going back to Frankfurt. What? But why? We can't stay here. It's too dangerous. But, Miss, this is why we should go to the cabin. Hmm? And why? Because the goats stay in the barn up there. Well, what does that have to do with anything, Adelaide? <laughs> I think they've played a prank to convince you to move to the cabin, Miss Rottenmeyer. Is that so? Yes, Miss. I really wanted to live in the cabin for a while. I am sorry, Clara, but if this is what we get on our second day here, can you imagine what could happen over a few weeks? <coughs> what on earth are you doing? These children tried to tell you how much they wanted to stay up there, but you didn't listen. Come on, 
What they did was a bit silly, but no harm was done. We'll take the next train to Frankfurt. <gasps> no! I'll pack your bags, Clara. reach that cabin of yours before sunset if we don't move soon, you know. Huh? Does that mean that you... Yes, I changed my mind. You were right. The mountains of fresh air can only benefit Clara. Great! Yes! Under one condition. Don't let your goats come near me. <laughs> <laughs> Fun. 